What do you think? Uh, I think we're in play. Um, the the uh, Klitschko piece is obviously the complicated electron here, um, especially the announcement of him as Deputy Prime Minister. And, and you've seen some of my notes on the troubles in the marriage right now. So we're trying to get a read really fast on where he is on this stuff. But I think your argument to him, which you'll need to make, I think that's the next phone call we want to set up, is exactly the one you made to, to Yachts. And I, I'm glad you sort of put him on the spot on where he fits in this scenario. And I'm very glad he said what he said in response. Good. So uh, I don't think Cleach should go into the government. I don't think it's necessary. I don't think it's a good idea. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess you think what, in terms of him not going into the government, just let him sort of stay out and do his political homework and stuff. I'm just thinking in terms of sort of the process moving ahead, we want to keep the moderate Democrats together. The problem is going to be Tony Boak and his guys. And, you know, I'm sure that's part of what Yanukovych is calculating on all of this. Um, I'm I, kinda, I, I, just, I think Yats is the guy who's got the economic experience, the governing experience. He's, he's the guy, you know, what he needs is Cleach and Tony Book on the outside. He needs to be talking to them four times a week, you know. I, I, I just think Cleach going in, he's going to be at that level working for Yatsenyuk. It's just not going to work. Yeah, no, it, I, think that's, you know? I think that's right. Okay. Good. Well, do you want us to try to set up a call with him as the next step? My understanding from that call, but you tell me, was that the big three were going into their own meeting and that Yats was going to offer in that context a, a three-way, you know, the three-plus-one conversation or three-plus-two with you. Is that not how you understood it? No, I think, I mean, that's what he proposed, but I think just knowing the dynamic that's been with them where um, – Klitschko has been the top dog. He's going to take a while to show up for whatever meeting they've got, and he's probably talking to his guys at this point. So I think you reaching out directly to him helps with the personality management among the three, and it, and it gives you also a chance to move fast on all this stuff and put us behind it, behind it before they all sit down and he, um, he explains why he doesn't like it. Okay, good. I'm happy. Why don't you reach out to him and see if he wants to talk before or after? Okay, will do. Thanks. Okay, I've now written, oh, one more wrinkle for you, Jeff. Yeah. I uh, can't remember if I told you this or if I only told Washington this, that when I talked to Jeff Feltman this morning, he had a new name for the U.N. guy, Robert Seri. Did I write yeah. you that this morning? Yeah, okay. I saw that. He, he's now gotten both Seri and Ban Ki-moon to agree that Seri could come in Monday or Tuesday. Okay. So that would be great, I think, to help glue this thing and have the U.N. help glue it. And, you know, fuck the EU. No, exactly. And I think we've got to do something to make it stick together because you can be pretty sure that if it does, if it does start to gain altitude, the Russians will be working behind the scenes to try to torpedo it. And, again, the fact that this is out there right now, I'm still trying to figure out in my mind why Yanukovych did that. But in the meantime, there's a Party of Regions faction meeting going on right now, and I'm sure there's a lively argument going on in that group at this point. But uh, anyway, we could uh, we could land jelly side up on this one if we move fast. So let me work on let me work on Klitschko, and if you can just keep, I, I think we want to try to get somebody with an international personality to um, come out here and help to midwife this thing. And then the other the other issue is some kind of outreach to Yanukovych, but we can probably regroup on that tomorrow as we see how things start to fall into place. So on that piece, Jeff, uh, when I wrote the note, uh, Sullivan's come back to me, uh, VFR, saying you need Biden, and I said probably tomorrow for an attaboy and to get the deets to stick. So okay. Biden's willing. Okay, great. Right. Thanks. 